to define the tractor point so that we will have different glazings, different panel sizes on all of this facade system. So this is again, sorry for my, um, again, sorry for my folder of this playlist. So what I'll be doing, maybe I can also pull this down. So what I'll be doing now is basically using sort of an information to feed the factor of the scale by using an attractor point and how I'll be doing that. So as you remember from the previous videos, we can create an attractor point on this particular surface by evaluating the surface. If I evaluate this surface, reparameterize it, and if I grab an MP slider, what I'll have is I'll be having an, you see, an attractor point that flows all over this surface. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these points Maybe I can um, hide this connection, okay, and use this center points in between these center points and use that basically distance as my attractor point. And how I can do that, or what we can do if we want things a bit more like if we want things a bit simpler, we can take the distance in between each point, but each subdivided surface, like quad, but let's do it in this way. So if I grab this distance in between this point areas and my attractor point, how, what we are going to see, let's visualize it for a second first. So these are my curves the ones that are in, highlighted in white and you see my connections coming from this like you see each surface is linked to my attractor point and when I move attractor point you see it's all also changing and this distance is going to be key for my factor so if I go to closest go under vector Point. let's use this time closest point so these are my points and this is my point to this is my attractor point and you see I have a hundred and the number of my surfaces is here projected as they are being as distances and if I use this distances as my factor let's see what we see you see, it's completely off. I mean, it's sort of cool, but it's something we don't really want to have. Therefore, what we're going to do is we're going to remap these values, right? So if I go to math under domain and I'll grab a remap. And what I'll be remapping is these distances. But you see all these distances, when we remap them, it's going to be have one particular value and once we want to have these values as like because it's going to be asking me a source in which I have to be putting the minimum and maximum value of this distance what I need to do I can go and check the bounds but you see when I connect the bounds it will take give me everything as one single list so it will be impossible for me to put them back as my target between 0 and 1. I would need one single domain to proceed this. Therefore, what I'll be doing, I can say flatten, and then it tells me the distances here, and then I can put this back in. And when I do so, what I'm seeing is all these information, again, I flatten this value to see the minimum and the maximum point of my distances and then I grab the values here but my for my target what I'll be using is like let's say 0 0.10 and 0 
and connect this one as my target and i can say okay copy this and put this aside group this and group this guy again here and this value is now my value of effect so what we are going to see let's have some space in between let's have some space in between let's have some space in between okay let's have some of this space in between as well and now what i'm going to do is i'll be connecting this point as my point and connecting this as my fact and let's see what we are having you see the closer the attractor point comes we are seeing that the surfaces or the triangulation gets smaller openings get smaller and the rest is like we see sort of a repulsion to where's my point here and then it goes up again so if you really want to make things a bit different what you can say is basically i can group this as well what you can say is let's range them between 0 0.3 instead of 0 0.10 like let's say the maximum value of this is going to be 0 0.30 it okay and we can do the same for this guy over here 0 0.3 as well for my minimum value so we see a bit better kind of an organization and now what we are going to do is basically when we when we move over my and I put this over move it over you see it's basically connected to here and you see when I move my tractor point the closer it becomes the smaller opening we have and if you want to do the reverse you can connect this upside down 